to everybody who was like, I would hold your breath, Jay. Don't get your hopes up about the Arrow spinoff set in the future. You know, I don't know. Don't hold your breath. It's probably not going to happen. You know, nothing official has been said yet. Well, I don't want to be that type of guy to say I told you so, but... What up guys and welcome to the Love Source Plus C Comic and Nerd Culture Show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Jay, I've got a PhD in Nerd Culture and I should know. I pretty did it out myself. What's up you guys? We've got some breaking news for you ladies and gentlemen for all you Arrowverse fans out there. Like I said in the intro, I hate to be the guy that said I told you so, but I told you so. We have got official confirmation from Warner Brothers and WB that they are moving forward with an official direct Arrow spinoff following the eighth and final season of Arrow and this spinoff will have a backdoor pilot episode in Arrow season eight. And of course, so far, who we have slated to star in this spinoff is none other than Catherine McNamara, aka Mia Smoke, and of course, our two canaries. We've got Laurel Lance, aka Black Siren, who is played by, of course, the lovely Katie Cassidy, and Dinah Drake, aka the Earth One Black Canary, played by the lovely Juliana Harkavy. So, you know, what do I think of this news? Man, I could not be more excited. I really, really enjoyed the flash-forward sequences from Arrow Season 7. I thought that world is just really interesting. I loved Mia as a character and, you know, the beginnings of her development, her relationship with her brother William, and just how this world is set up. It has this really cool kind of Terminator edge to it where basically, you know, Felicity's program Archer has become Skynet and our band of heroes is now the resistance and they have to defeat this big enemy. Now, you know, they've mostly stopped it for now from what we saw at the end of season seven of Arrow, but I'm sure more threats will be to come. And, you know, Mia has not officially taken up the mantle of Green Arrow yet. So I'm really excited for this now. Like, obviously, you know, I have been an Arrow fan from the jump. You know, fun fact, Arrow was actually the first show I ever started reviewing on my channel. You know, I reviewed Arrow for a long time. I still review Arrow to this day. There was a small period of time where I stopped reviewing Arrow because, you know, they made me angry by making me finally like Laurel Lance as a character and then just kill her off. That really made me mad. The whole Felicity magical walking chip thing made me mad. You know, wasting the opportunity of utilizing Oracle really pissed me off. You know, especially as a fan and as a disabled fan, I was like you know, really turned off by that. But, you know, I stuck with Arrow. Arrow is one of my favorite shows. Love it or hate it. And I'm not saying it's a perfect show. It definitely has its flaws. You know, I can understand why a lot of people jump ship after season four or even season three. But still, man, you can't deny the impact that Arrow has had on the superhero TV genre. So, like, I am really excited to hear that this spinoff is actually moving forward and that we'll get more development for this future world. Because, like I said before, there's so much developmental potential for this and there was no way that we could get this all sorted out in 10 episodes. I mean, we got stuff like, you know, with Connor Hawk and his brother, you know, John Jr. And, like... That whole thing with the Deathstroke gang, obviously that's going to get explored in Season 8 as well, but there's so much more to deal with that. And of course, you know, there's Connor's family ties and different things like that. I'm not going to spoil it because I will go into more detail because I plan to do a video next week recapping the events of Arrow Season 7 just so that you guys can be prepared and uh, ready to 
experience the final season of the Arrow vs. Flagship show for yourselves. So, you know, look forward to that video when that comes out next week. But yeah, you know, as for this spinoff, I think this could be really cool because, you know, one of the strongest elements of DC as a company and one of the things that I've always enjoyed about DC that honestly, you know, DC has not embraced as much within recent years and which is why like I feel like DC's sort of like fallen off a little bit is that they don't embrace their legacy characters in the same way that they used to. Legacy characters were kind of the one major thing that they had over Marvel. They had much better legacy characters. But now Marvel's building up and they have, you know, characters like Miles Morales and Kamala Khan who are absolutely killing it. But like, I think with, you know, Mia, this is the perfect opportunity to build up on a legacy character. And what better legacy character to do than a legacy character of the character who basically is the origin point of this entire DC TV universe. I think this is really cool. You know, we saw a similar arc with Nora on The Flash last season, which I will also do a video on recapping if you guys want to catch up in time for the next season of The Flash next week. So look out for that as well. But we got a similar arc with that with Nora, and I think that's really cool. And obviously we got the first little baby steps for Mia in season seven. But I think that would be a really cool arc just to see play out. Not just, you know, Mia following her father's footsteps and, like, you know, living up to his legacy and escaping his shadow, but also carving her own legacy, finding her own rogues, you know, ha having her own arch nemesis and, you know, having her family by her side to, like, help guide her through this. You know, the one thing Oliver didn't have in the very beginning was a family. He eventually built that family over the course of several years and that's how he ended up forming Team Arrow and stuff like that but like Mia has the luxury of having people here with her from the jump having a family from the start and of course some of these people are veterans they've been with Ollie for several years so you know they know what it's like they know the mistakes that Ollie's made so they can warn Mia against it to keep Mia from having history repeat itself. I think, you know, it's a really good developmental opportunity and like a lot of cool things can go down from this. And because it's set in the future, you could have a lot of cool things happen. And like also just the marketing potential of this. Can you just like think about that for a second? Like this is essentially the Arrowverse equivalent of Batman Beyond. Heck, I wouldn't even mind if they called it Arrow Beyond. I think that would be a really cool title. And I think this could be a really cool way just to see just how the future plays out. It kind of reminds me like little bits of like, you know, the Batman Beyond episodes when he like got to crossover with the like the Justice League Beyond. I would love to see that type of thing where, you know, we're far enough into the future where the Justice League has been formed and that's why Barry and the others aren't around as much because they're on league business. But like, we could eventually see crossovers with the future Justice League. Do you know how cool that would be? Or even like the Legion or something like that? Oh my God. Cause we already have a Legion presence within Supergirl. I mean, we don't know how crisis is gonna affect everything, but still, I think it's super cool and I cannot wait to see, you know, where this goes. You know, we could see a bunch of different characters, a couple like good spins on classic Arrow villains or maybe even chances to redo Arrow villains that they botched earlier on in the run of Arrow's TV show. We could get a proper Count Vertigo that's an actual like, you know, Latvian royalty or whatever and have that actually play out. You know, do something maybe similar to like Young Justice. I think that could be really cool. You, you could do a proper version of the Clock King. Maybe somebody else takes up the mantle of the clock or of the calculator, you know? And, you know, that would be something personal to Mia because that would be, you know, Mia's grandfather. I think that would be really cool. We could get introduced to some other cool future concepts as well. Maybe even see like successors to other heroes, like, you know, a different version of Nora since, you know, um, the version of Nora that we got to know on the previous season of The Flash got wiped away. Maybe we'll get to see a new version of Nora 
in this timeline. I think that would be really cool. Again, just so many different possibilities that this could lead to. It just fills me with so much excitement. I cannot wait to see what this backdoor pilot is. And I think this spinoff gives fans, both new and old, of Arrow an opportunity to really try something awesome. I think this could be really cool. And you know, people who would jump ship from Arrow around season three and four, you guys can check this out because this is a fresh new take. And it has a really interesting spin with this whole like Terminator-esque world. Again, the possibilities are endless and I'm super excited. I mean, you can't deny. You see this look on my face. I'm hyped. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you guys think about the spinoff. What are you looking forward to? What do you hope to see in the spinoff? Let me know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like because the likes really do help. They help to spread this video all through YouTube's algorithm. And be sure to recommend and share this video with other Arrowverse fans, much like yourselves. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. And you know, if you like what we do here and you want to see more from myself, Ryan, The Real Manos, and Deadpoolzilla, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos. We've got plenty of new content coming for you guys. You know, obviously we, you know, cover news, topics, reviews, and so much more. So if you like what we do here and you want to see more from us, be sure to join the universe today by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you can become one of Earth's mighty subscribers today. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, guys, this is Jay from Mr. Reviews for the Comic Universe, and hopefully next time, I'll see you in the universe. Peace. <laughs>